what's up youtube we're back again today what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about our emergency bleed kits we are getting ready for the winter time and a lot of people who are into prepping and a lot of people uh, that just want to be prepared always go on amazon or on these private sites and they get these prof professionally put together bleed kits and they spending 50 60 70 some people even spending 80 dollars for these bleed kits well i am here today to show you how to put together a value bleed kit in an emergency situation and this thing is not going to cost you above 40 dollars so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you along on my trip today to two stores and then we're going to do some online shopping we are going to comprise all of those items together and we are going to put together this bleed kit that you can keep inside of your vehicle at all times. So let's go and take a look at that. All right, guys, so our first stop is Dollar Tree. Of course, everybody knows about Dollar Tree. We got Band-Aids and stuff, so let's get some extra large plastic band-aids and we have a care pack uh, roll galls we're gonna grab two two of these let's see uh, we're gonna grab some waterproof tape so we're at five dollars right there because it's now the dollar 25 cent store and let's see what else we can find mm, i like this little assortment kit this curad first aid portable pack it has uh, a variation of band-aids in it so i'm gonna get that and let's see what else do we got here and remember to think out the box man look we have like a whole bunch of sanitary napkins and stuff i'm pretty sure uh you know so far as bleeding is concerned this stuff is excellent for absorbency so uh, you can always go one of these options but uh, I'm gonna look elsewhere and see if I can't find uh, some trauma trauma dressing instead of uh, going this route but you could go this route to save some money if you wanted to uh, going with maxi pads or anything like that or even these uh, disposable adult diapers you could do that but uh we're gonna go with trauma dressing so uh we're gonna take we're gonna take what we got and i think what we what we are gonna do is we're gonna add uh we're gonna add these thin little alcohol hand sanitizers they come in little packs um just so you can have something to wash your hands uh i'm gonna i'm gonna move around the store and see if i can't find some not uh nitride gloves uh that can go with this with this little uh packet we got here all right here we are we found them exam gloves 10 count it's most latex free textured grip Does it have a size on this thing? Probably one size fits all, huh? I think it's it. Fits most. I guess that's the best you can do. All right. Well, that's our loadout. I think the only thing that, uh, there's a couple things I knew that we weren't gonna get from the store. So uh, yeah, let's see what our options are. Let's head up front. For that part. <laughs> 
So now we are at Wally World, the great world of Walmart. And as you can hear, I got the kiddos with me. So we are inside of uh, the fishing section and a good substitute for your scissors are these Ozark Trail large comfortable finger grips cor corrosion resistant construction cuts new generation braided fishing line serrated blades keep line from rolling and these are 347 Whoa. let's keep on moving around the store and see uh, if we can find the last items for the kit all right now that we got the shears i think the last thing that we have to do uh was we are inside the first aid aisle so we got wound dressing up here by equate we got gauze pads as you can see the lowest gauze pad the lowest cost on the gauze pad is 147 so we saved a little bit of money with the gauze pad here we got Equate Extra Large Surgical Dressing, and that's 12, a 12 count for $4.88. So it's for heavy absorption, thick multi-layered cushion wound. So I think I'm gonna go with this one at the 488. And I think that's gonna probably be the last thing that I need on that list. So uh, let's take this up front. They actually have they actually have bandage scissors for three dollars and ninety two cent, and these are very thin, and they will probably work just the same as the the other scissors we got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably. I'm not sure if I'll keep the ones that I got or if I'll get these. So I'll get these, uh, I'll get these also. And then we'll just see what we can, uh, we can see what the numbers look like when we crunch them, comparatively speaking. If the change, if the change will make a difference or if we will just uh, use these and how well these things hold up. So uh, let's take our haul from Walmart and take it back home and see if we can't save some money, uh, save some money in our kit. All right, we are back home now. So the last two items that we are going to need are going to be online. And this is, uh, I think it's a new app, but it's called Timu. And look at this. We got a tourniquet right here for four dollars and 98 cent that's about six dollars cheaper than it would be uh if you got it from amazon and we're gonna add that to the cart uh, let's see here then we are going Go to our search right. We're gonna do Life Bivy. I'll take that five forty eight. Uh, we're gonna do quantity one and we're gonna add that to the cart. And that's the last two things that we're going to need. Uh, one thing about Timu, if you use it, um, it has to be a $10 minimum. So if you can find uh, anything else on here that will help the kid out, um, yeah, just make sure that you get over that $10 minimum and uh, before you check out. And so that's the last two things that I'm going to need for our bleed kit. And uh, let's fast forward um, and see if we can't get this stuff in the mail. okay so i thought we were done but uh turns out i forgot one thing 
Uh, I'm gonna get these uh, poly new uh, chest seals, and these are $10.99. So I'm going to uh, order these. All right, so this is our budget haul from the two stores. Uh, we got Walmart and uh, the Dollar Tree. Uh, this is our Walmart run. That's uh, about 10 bucks. Rounding up, it's $10. Uh, this is going to be our Dollar Tree haul between this and this. Uh, these four items right here are technically uh, extras because most people who put together Wii kits, you don't see things like band-aids, uh, you don't see hand sanitizer, and a lot of people don't carry waterproof tape. So this is uh, like $5 worth of extra stuff that I want to put in my kit because I saved so much money putting this kit together, I'm able to add more things to it. Um, these are the two items that we got from uh, Timu. Um, we're gonna put everything together. I'm gonna show you the quality of, of these items from Timu, and this is our uh, this is our haul from Amazon, the online store, and it's the Poly New uh, chest seal. And uh, we're gonna try this out. Um, it comes in two, but I took one and put it inside of another one of my kits, and I got one with me. I might put the other one inside of this kit because they were only uh, $11 as you've seen. And so I might put two inside the kit. And this is a little uh, a Ziploc bag. Uh, you know, just something that you, you can get out the cabinet and stuff. Don't cost you anything because uh, we keep Ziploc bags around the house. Um, another thing that you, you don't see here is uh, I have a Sharpie. And uh, the Sharpie cost me nothing at all. And so uh, I'll explain that here in a minute once we get everything situated inside the bag and then we can talk about everything uh, a little bit more. So there you are, there we have it. We are going to focus on the products that we have with us today, starting off with the things that we don't necessarily need inside of our bleed kit and that you uh, normally don't see see inside of the, of a bleed kit. Usually your bleed kit is for uh, extreme emergencies. Uh, for example, things like arterial, uh, arterial bleeding, things like that. So uh, things like your, your assortment of band-aids, small cuts and stuff that those would treat, uh, you're not gonna be so much focused on that as much as you are. Uh, in a situation where you're going to want to uh, stop excessive bleeding. So those normally would not be in a uh, bleed kit, um, but I'm going to add them to mine. We have uh, this tape, waterproof tape. If you cannot get your gauze to stay in place, then you would use these in a situation, uh, in a situation like that. That's why I'm choosing to add this to my kit. And then, of course, uh, hand sanitizer. So after the fact, if you needed to clean your hands or before the fact, if you feel like you needed to sanitize your hands, then these little small packets of hand sanitizer would be something that you can use in an emergency situation to uh, pre and post emergency situation to clean your hands and tend to your hands. So we keep those in there. All together, uh, those, these four items were an extra $5, um, which would bring our total kit to about $39 and some change. So we got very, very close to that $40 mark, but we did not surpass it. So we did very good with this kit. Now for the bleed kit itself, everything is inside of this large Ziploc bag. And you can keep that inside the car. We're not worried about aesthetics, okay? Yes, you can go out at some point in time and buy a little cheap canvas bag or what have you on Amazon, but uh, we're not worried about aesthetics. This thing is still very much waterproof and sealed up very tight and going to protect your belongings from uh, any type of uh, water 
or liquid that could possibly get inside the bag. So uh, cracking this bag open, the two things I think uh, I want to address first that's going to be of the most concern to those that are viewing are the Timu items, okay? Most people think that if you purchase it from, from Timu, that it's going to be, you're going to get cheap items. And I'm here to tell you now, these items came in and I was present, I was pleasantly, excuse me, surprised uh, with how well made they are. Uh, winter time's coming up. So if you have somebody with an injury and they're out in the elements, uh, it's cold, then you want to warm them up. This is that emergency uh, bivy that comes in there. Uh, I actually do not want to take this thing all the way apart. Uh, it's very, very, very sturdy. Pulling on this thing. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with the quality of it. It's for, it's for an emergency situation. So obviously it's not gonna be something that you're going to use um, you know, every day to cover up with. It's just to kind of give the person some form of warmth while uh, they can receive some, some further assistance from emergency services. So I'm gonna try to wrap this thing up as best I can and put it back inside of the, the bag that it came in. So we want to uh, put put something like that on them. Uh, if they're exposed to the elements, that can kind of reflect reflect their body heat back on them. Because if they're bleeding that much, their temperature is going to be dropping um, very quickly. So there's that. And then here is the tourniquet. You know, this is this is the most important part. And uh, one thing that I wanted to pay close attention to the most was uh, the Velcro and how strong uh, how strong this Velcro was on this so um, it's, it appears to be it appears to hold up very well you know um, for it to be four dollars essentially sticks very well so all in all I'm, I'm happy with that purchase on that so those are those two items uh, these are the trauma dressings that come inside the quake box the extra large surgical dressings that you're going to use out there I'm going to keep three of those equipped inside that bag the nitrile uh, gloves and the galls they were actually inside of a box and when you take them out the box they are inside of cellophane so they are still sterile and inside of cellophane ready to use in an emergency situation then of course uh, the chest seal the thing about the chest seal though is it's not a Oh, well, it is a directional three-channel three, uh, three channel vent, so I stand corrected. So, yeah, that's good. I wanted it to be a vented chest seal, and it is. So we have the chest seal inside the pack. I didn't see that until now. And then we have the uh, bandage or uh, bandage scissors or the trauma shears. So uh, the only difference between uh, these... El Cheapo Trauma Shears is that uh, they're, they're a thinner construction. So like the ones that you would get off of Amazon, uh, the, uh, the points of where you put your fingers is a little bit more thick. So you probably uh, will have less tension on your fingers because you have more of a surface to hold on to. Um, of course, these ones are shorter in length and uh, they're cheap. So, uh, but I got a pair of jeans here and, uh, I'm 
that's their that's their intended purpose. Their intended purpose is to cut the clothing off of somebody so you can uh, so you can be uh, so their wounds are accessible. But one thing that I want to show you because I did uh, purchase these at Walmart um, inside the fishing section. And I think what makes these scissors so good is because the teeth are kind of serrated a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see those little tiny teeth on there. And so what I want to show you is that you don't always have to go with trauma shears, okay? And we're gonna cut through, we're gonna cut through a thick piece. Not only are we gonna cut through the waistband of these jeans, but we got like a little leather patch and we're gonna see how well these scissors, which are not trauma shears, how well these scissors hold up uh, in comparison. So, see that there? cutting through the pocket and now we're into softer parts of the jeans cutting through the pants pocket itself so that's two layers of denim the pants pocket and as you can see that's why I decided to go with these as an alternative to the trauma shears because they work very well and they're uh, they're a compact size so if you want to put those inside the kit you could also add that to the kit. Uh, two things that I wanted you to consider, um, because call me what you want to, I can uh, I can pinch pennies with the best of them, with the with the very best of them. So like things like your nitrile gloves and your sharpie, those are things you can get for free. Me personally. I go to the doctor for uh, a checkup at least twice a year, okay? Not to count the ones that uh, are unexpected if I get a cold or so, some sort of ailment. If you go to the doctor every month, you are paying a premium for your insurance to go to the doctor. And that adds up. Like, your co-pays do not equal the amount of money that you pay on a monthly basis going to the doctor. So when you do simply just ask your doctor if you can have some not uh, nitrile gloves or or anything like that and you can save yourself a buck 25 or however much you decide to spend on your gloves and trust me they're going to be nice quality or just like when you were a kid what did your teachers used to say don't be afraid to ask if you go somewhere and you see a sharpie just say hey would you mind if I have that Sharpie? Or uh, if you're at work and they allow, the big word is allow. <laughs> if you're at work and they allow you to have those type of things, get a Sharpie, bring it home, put it inside your kit. That saves you $2, $2.50 or whatever out this kit, which will drop this kit to about $30, $37 and some change. If you, if you look at things that way, my mom used to always say, pennies make dollars. Uh, that's all I have for everybody, man. That's going to be my bleed kit that I am going to carry with me for the winter of 2023 through 24. And I hope that you guys found this useful, man. Keep this with you because, uh, you know, accidents do happen. And you never know when you're going to be in a position to help someone or if you're going to be that person that needs help yourself. And if somebody has a kit on them, man, you're going to be thankful that they do. I appreciate everybody's time, man, and I will catch you guys next time.